is No Accident Podcast. I am your host, Maritza Perez, and we are here today with a researcher, a humanitarian, helping people restore optimal health and helping enhance their quality of life through his creation of a scholar light. His name, Tom Paladino. Tom, let me start with reading your bio to our audience. Tom Paladino began research with scalar energy during his undergraduate after developing a deep admiration for the father of scalar energy research or knowledge, Nikola Tesla. He was also able to study the work of a man, Hieronymus, who continued research of scalar energy. Hieronymus Major contributions included on binding the RNA DNA bonds of microbes plugging the agricultural industry. The existence of such, such energy is not found with electromagnetic spectrum, fascinated that fascinated Tom. Inspired by these findings, he pursued a course of independent studies seeking to be better and understand better and subsequently harness scalar energy through the development of an instrument called the Scalar Light. Welcome, Tom. It is an honor to have you in my podcast. The honor is mine. Thank you, Maritza. Thank you. It is super nice to hear about all of these. But before we get to everything, I would like to ask you something. Tell me what is your accent and why is not an accident? My, my accent is I want to help people. That's, that's, my, uh, that's my demeanor. That's my proclivity. And I think I can help people with technology. It's no accident try to help people throughout my life with technology. So tell me how did you get to it? How did how did you get to, to all this research and what inspired you? Uh, <clears throat> Initially it was the great scientist Nikola Tesla. Any of you have heard of Nikola Tesla? He developed instruments like this, scalar energy instruments. Tesla was a genius and we should revisit a lot of his work because if we apply his technology, it will help our lifestyle. It will improve the lifestyle of everybody in the world. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to study Nikola Tesla, and we're going to apply his technology to help me. So, Tom, Nikola Tesla was the inspiration of all of this. So what was it that you discovered that was there in scalar energy? Later in his life, Tesla was working with scalar energy. They were free energy devices. So what's so important about his work, he no longer had to create energy. He did not generate the energy. He captured the energy. His devices captured the energy of the sun and the stars. And he was able to illuminate a light bulb even at a distance. He had a scalar energy tower that could broadcast energy and illuminate light bulbs. Those light bulbs were planted out was quite fascinating. Well, in some way, I've duplicated his results. I can take a light bulb in my laboratory. I'm holding up a light bulb. This is in its package, its plastic package, and I can illuminate a light bulb in my laboratory. This, this is the free energy that Nikola Tesla was speaking about, in which we don't need electricity to illuminate a light bulb. The, we're on to something gigantic here, free energy from the sun and the stars. So that is what scalar energy is. Yes. 
It's the free energy from the sun and the stars. You don't get it from a power company or a windmill or a nuclear. You capture it from the cosmos. Now, why is that important? Well, look at how many problems we have. Look at the pollution that's caused by our modern day energy grid. We need something more efficient. We need something with unlimited energy that's clean. Well, that's what scalar energy is. It's energy from the sun and the stars. It's unlimited energy. It's clean. There's there's no physical component. Okay. So, and and, and pardon my my ignorance, but so, is something like solar and energy like the panels of solar energy we have? That's that's a good advancement. That's a step in the right direction, but that still converts solar energy into electricity. Where, whereas I want to work just simply with scalar energy, that's not electricity. We're going to leave electricity behind because this energy is much more efficient than electricity. So it's a new way of looking at power generation. Um, that is excellent. So. Um one of the other things is that you are in, also inspired by our mother, um, Virgin Mary, and yes. yes, yeah, and I'll explain that because I believe what I'm working with is divine energy. If this energy is so strong that it can illuminate a light bulb in my hand, well, that has to be the energy of of heaven, of God. So God is light, and this light, scalar light can illuminate a light bulb. Again, I believe this is the natural energy of the sun and the stars, but I believe God provides the light. You know, it's always been said that Jesus is the light, and specifically it's scalar light or this type of divine light. So we're tapping into something quite exquisite. It's not, it has nothing to do with AC electricity. This is a different dimension. Oh, I, I love that. And then um, what can this scalar light do? So, so instruments is peculiar what, how they work. And before I get into it, this is a new science, and it has nothing to do with Newtonian physics or, or medical science. When I work with my instrument, I work with photographs. I work with the information or the signature on a photograph. I never work with people. So my process is an informational process. I actually take a person's photograph and I place it inside the instrument. Now, what happens? That instrument is giving so much energy that it's downloading, once again, it's downloading the white light into the person. Imagine all of that going into a photograph. That's the divine light of Christ that is entering into a person. So when I work with people, once again, I place the photograph in the instrument and I flood the photograph with divine energy. And that helps people. That will, if you will, balance their brain waves. Oh, that, that is very interesting. And why working with people? Yeah. My goal is to help people, people and animals. So I have developed this process in which I can work through the aura or the force field of a person. It's not biological. In other words, we can be in two places at once. When people, people will send me collages. When people send me a photograph, their photograph is placed inside the instrument. Now, that's as if people are in two places at once. It's by location. So in other words, I don't treat the physical person. I treat their photograph that carries their signature. So this is not the science that you and I learned in high school and college. This is a new science in which people can be in two places at once. I never work with people. I work energetic copy, their bilocated version on a photograph. Okay, so and 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 when you work with people, you help them with their um, enhance their their health. Yes. When I perform this chakra balancing, once again, all, all that energy entering into a photograph—that's their aura or their spirit, or call it their non-physical being—and in so doing, we see that people think in a in a more clear fashion. Their memory. 
is, is enhanced. Or people say that they have uh, deep dreams that they can have, uh, dr- in which there is no interruption or a, a, a deep dream state in which they can recall their dreams. Others say they're happy, that this energy makes them happy. Some people say it allows them to give up cigarettes or alcohol. So it seems to be corrective energy that, if you will, channeled into the photograph through the photograph. Now, we're having a conversation through our computers. Obviously, you're not in my computer. I am not in your computer. You bilocate to my laboratory. Well, likewise, if you sent me your photograph, you would bilocate to my instrument, to my laboratory. So if you can do that with it all, then you can do that with the scalar energy instrument. That is super interesting. And and um, what do the device and um, what are the certain things that can help with um, no. help it health wise? Yes. So let me explain. Everything I do, I instruct this instrument, and I do so if I have to with a, with a photograph, a photograph of a micro. I'm going to hold up a photograph of Epstein Barr. That's a common virus throughout the world. I would take this photograph of Epstein Barr and I would place it side by side my photograph. Let me explain. It's all about communication. The energy of Epstein Barr communicates with my photograph. The two photographs communicate with one another. And if I were to have Epstein Barr as a signal in my photograph, this photograph of Epstein Barr would find this signal and reduce it or bring it to a state of chaos. So you place these two photographs inside the instrument, and the energy of Epstein Barr will find Epstein Barr in my quantum field and eliminate it. Not through chemicals, but through information. Okay. Hi, I'm very happy to know you are here watching our podcast today. It is an honor to be featuring so many entrepreneurs on the journeys of their inside voice, their accent that is not an accident. And we want to reach out more people like you who are creating a better world of diversity, inclusiveness, equity, and belonging. So please take a moment to hit the subscribe button below, like, and share to others. And if, even if you want to leave a comment, that will be nice. Thank you for your support. And now back to the episode. So, so I have a question. So how, how does the energy work with finding that virus? I, I can, can kind of like, you, can you get a little more in depth? Yeah. On that? Yeah. Let me explain. Everything in, in the world has energy for a signature. If I hold up this Epstein Barr virus, there's a specific scalar energy signature or harmonic, call it what you will. I have a specific harmonic. This is my harmonic. This is the heart of Epstein Barr. Now, in order for us to bring Epstein Barr to a state of chaos, you have to put it in the instrument. The instrument looks at the molecular structure, the molecular bonds, and reduces the molecular bonds to a state of chaos. But you have to keep in mind, all of this is non-physical information. It's not a chemical. So we take the energy of Epstein-Barr, we download that into my photograph. And because you're working with a scalar energy instrument, you flood that, if you will, you flood both photographs with information, with light. And it light then will function. I do not act. The energy, the light performs the function of sharing the information of Epstein Barr with my photograph. Uh-huh. This is unique. You cannot do this with electricity. You cannot place a photograph in an electrical instrument such as a refrigerator or a jet mm-hmm. or, or a toaster. It doesn't work. This mm-hmm. only works in scalar. Yeah, this only works in a scalar energy environment. So let's talk about a couple of your programs. Um, I have here, uh, like the standard scholar is what we just talked about. General, general energy. Um, how about something about the digestive system? 
I, I have a program uh, that addresses that. We can actually assemble uh, various uh, digestive enzymes and, and proteins that help promote metabolism or will aid in our uh, digestion of certain foods. Now, I've worked with that, and I actually have a dog. I place my dog on digestive enzymes, and it helps. It, in the long run, it helps our digestion. It helps my digestion. It helps my dog's digestion. So if we can create a pro or digestive enzyme, and that helps uh, uh, with our digestion or my, our, the metabolism, the point is this. We're at the realm of information. Information supersedes any chemical process. So it's not a chemical process. We're downloading information that, that helps us assemble. We can actually create digestive enzymes. Awesome. And do you did you create the 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 whole apparatus? Did you create everything? And how do you extract energy from this solar system? And yeah. the the initial inventor is a man by the name of Galen Hyron. As I copied his invention, he's deceased. His entire family's deceased, but they handed on. Now, the instrument behind it is, is custom built. It takes a great deal of time and effort to manufacture all the parts. Everything has to be built from scratch, so to speak. Now, in operation, I take this instrument. I'll I'll show the audience to the view. That's the instrument, part of it. And I initiate the, this charge of electricity. I can take a household current and I can convert it into scalar energy. It's a unique instrument that can convert AC electricity into scalar. But again, the end product is a scalar force field. And that's the key to my work. I, I don't work in this normal electromagnetic dimension. I work in a scalar energy dimension. Oh, absolutely interesting. And um, how can we help, like, the the hormonal prog – what is the hormone program about? Do yeah. you have for men and women? We, we have a, a male and female hormone program. For instance, women will send us a cell graph and we'll be able to – assemble now the molecular intelligence, not the chemical, but the intelligence of estradiol, progesterone, pregnenolone. Now, the upshot is this. Many women say that they no longer have hot flashes, that their, their menstruation is normal. There's not heavy bleeding. Uh, others will say, other women will say that they can sleep, a, a, a meaningful sleep without interruption. Some women say they're they're less irritable. So it seems that having this correct energy, this correct intelligence of female hormones, it seems to elevate or improve the mood. Some women go as far as to say it makes their menstruation a normal flow. Oh, that is incredible. And how does it help the men? Men are stronger. I place myself on a male hormone therapy and it makes me stronger. That actually serves to I think it has an anabolic character at the end of the day. It makes me stronger. It makes me more muscular. Now, I want to make this very clear. My work is unique. Nobody's ever duplicated these instruments. So for the time being, we rely upon the testimonies of people. I have close to 4,000 testimonies on my website. So my point is this. This is new. This is groundbreaking. And the best way to, to try our program is, is to sign up for our 15-day free session. The key is we want to introduce this to a broad, uh, uh, if you will, a broad audience. It's a new technology. It's a new way of working with force fields on photographs, force fields. So we allow the people as a grassroots movement to bring forward this technology. Wow. So, wait a minute. Did I hear this well? Um, did you just say a 15 days free trial? Yes, that, that's right. Our website, anybody in the world can send in their photograph to your family members. All you do is email us your photograph. Now, I want to treat everybody in the world by their photograph for free. 
So our website has a standing program, no questions asked. Anybody in the world can upload their photograph. We'll treat you for free for 15 days. You can include your pets. Why do I do that? For a number of reasons. I want this to be simple and straightforward. I want people to experience this. I don't want them to have to pay for it initially. I have to introduce this. This is a new technique. It's never been done before. I don't expect people to understand what I'm doing. It's never been done before. So that's why we give away 15 days of free sessions. Oh, that is great. Ooh. Okay, so anyone who is to the podcast right now can go ahead to www.scarletlight.com and there is a little button on the right that says 15-day free trial. Go ahead and sign in for everyone in your family, including your pet. And you will have your 15 days of uh, testing done. And for women and men down there that want to lose a couple of pounds, can they do that too? We have a program known as Fat Metab, not a weight loss program. It's a program designed to send in the correct energy to promote the metabolism of fat and fatty tissue. So some people have good results with fat metabolism. The key is to visit our website, familiarize yourself. We have 10 different programs. Familiarize yourself with our programs. And then you decide. Try each one. I would try each one per month or, or, or a specific period of time. But for the sake of our conversation today, we're going to give away 15 days of the standard program to everybody. And we'll keep that up on our website. So when you replay this interview or two down the road, we'll still have that 15-day free program. Amazing. And this invention is trademarked. Yes, yes, we, we, yes, we have. Correct. And then also, on top of everything, you can be anywhere in the world listening to this podcast right now, and you will get your 15 days trial. That's correct. Now, see, that's the beauty of our work. I frequently work with people in Africa and Asia, Canada, Europe, South and Central America. All we need is your photograph. You don't visit an office. This is the new science in which we work sort of like a telephone or a cell phone. If you can contact somebody by way of a cell phone, well, you should be able to contact their spirit or their aura through their photograph. It's non-physical communication. Amazing. So now let's just step into something different because I want to you to tell, tell us about your humanitarian on top of what you're doing uh, work. Okay. Here's a great example. We're working with people, again, by photographs. I'm going to hold up a photograph of a clinic. This is an HIV AIDS clinic in Delhi, India. Own Prakash, the AIDS clinic, people living with HIV AIDS. We've worked with over 5,000 people at this clinic in Delhi, India. And after we work with these people through their photograph, people report that they feel great. And many people said that they no longer are, are HIV positive. They don't have a viral load for HIV. Now, this is our outreach to the world. By the way, I've never been to India. So we're working with people around the world by way of the photograph, and the results are, are quite favorable. Wow. Yeah, that, that's beautiful, by the way. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, not many people just think about others, and you are one of those who think about helping the world, that's... one individual or animal at a time. Thank you. That's Tom. important. And Tom, how can people contact you? Go to our website, scalarlight.com. We have the 15-day free trial on the website. Anybody can visit the website and sign up, scalarlight.com. And I would encourage people, if you have a favorable experience, then tell your family and friends. We are a grassroots movement. We rely upon you. So share the 15-day free session. You could send it out on if you want to. We will, I want to introduce this technology. This is of great benefit to mankind. 
I need the help of a grassroots movement. That means you listening to our podcast today. Scalarlight.com, S-C-A-L-A-R, Scalarlight.com. Anybody can visit the website and register. No questions asked, no obligation. We'll treat you and your family for free. Excellent. So is there any thought that you would like to say, any last thought that you would like to tell our audience? Yeah. We're looking for a solution. There's a lot of problems in this room. Free energy without any consequence, without any pollution, is, is the answer we're looking for. Free energy in which we don't have to worry about biological consequences, there's no negative drawback, in which we work with a photograph and people say that they feel better. Well, that's, a, that's another positive because there, there is no drawback to this type of energy. You cannot become allergic to the energy of the sun or their star, so to speak. There's no chemical response. We're working in a different energy plane. So this is free energy. It's safe to use, and people benefit. You have this. That is amazing, Tom. Thank you so much. This was a wonderful interview. I love what you do. And everybody, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for your effort today. And to you who is at home, remember you came to this world because you were loved, to be loved, and to love each other. Thank you. Bye. Hi, it's Maritza here. If you like this episode of My Accent is No Accident podcast and would like to listen more like this, subscribe wherever you're listening to it or watching it, leave us a nice review and share with your friends, family, and network. Thanks for listening.